Hey, how's it going everyone? Today is an extremely special day. Definitely one for the memory books. Today is the day that we'll be parting ways with the Old Faithful Mazda 3. What's interesting is I distinctively remember when I bought this car, it basically was my life savings. So I think the car costed like 11,000 or something. Um, and I only have about 10 or 11,000 dollars in my bank account at that time. And I think I need a minimum of 2,000 to like basically keep the account open. So I paid about 8,000 and then I had to borrow like 3,000 from my mom, pay her back eventually. Uh, so yeah, this thing was uh, once upon a time my entire life savings. So this Mazda 3 is a 2011 model. I bought it in summer of 2014, right before my first co-op term in Toyota. Basically I needed a car to go to work. Um, and it's taken me everywhere. It's been through a lot with me. Um, the most memorable one is probably the trip from Waterloo to California for my last work term. Um, and then doing a whole bunch of trips in California, uh, several trips to Lake Tahoe and Yosemite National Park, LA and San Diego. And then at the end of that work term, I drove back to Waterloo with my dad. Dif different route, so I got to see a large part of the US that I otherwise wouldn't have. Um, and I've also taken this on a Canadian East Coast trip through Quebec, uh, New Brunswick, um, Nova Scotia, PEI. So it's been great. Lots of memories with it. And today we'll be parting ways because we are on our way to picking up my brand new car. Let's go. <laughs> Go walk over. Oh my god, it's got my name on it. I know. Check out the front of the car. <gasps> oh wow, there's a bow in front of it. Can we keep that bow on like forever? No, because it'll, it'll fly off. <laughs> as soon as you pull it out. I see. I'm gonna take a picture. This is it. To open up that trunk. You got your privacy cover, which you can put down. Carpet mats, you got your rubber ones installed. Big owner's manual. The quick guide, so this is just a small one that you keep in the glove box. Okay. They are a basic first aid. Okay, so these guys have Velcro on the back, so you can place it anywhere okay. on the carpeted area. Nice. This is going to close to lock. You have to walk away in order for that to work. This is just a close. Okay. You do have a kick sensor. The kick sensor is just below this emblem here. Okay. So just an in and out will allow you to kick it open or kick it close. Oh, okay. So I can kick it open too. Yeah, and you don't have to do this okay. as long as you know to pick below this. Okay, got it. And when you're ready, you could hit the brake and hit the power button up top. Okay, car is on. Go ahead and adjust your mirrors right in this area. On your left side is where you adjust your mirrors. Yep. Okay, and then on the door, you're going to see set, press set, hit one. Awesome. On the blinker stick, so that beep says it's memorized your mirror steering wheel unseat, okay? Mm -hmm. um, on the blinker stick, can you twist that line down to auto? So always make sure that's on auto. Fog lights are currently off. You can switch that on if you'd like. This is fog lights? Yeah. And then um, high beams, do you want them automatic or do you want to do them manually? Probably automatic. Okay, so push the tip. The yeah, you get a green light right there. That lets you know it's active. Okay. That's your gas tank release. And then you got your chunk release. Below that, it's like a little hole. Yeah, pull that. That's just compartment for change or whatnot. Mm. So to the left and down. Yeah. Do you want your front camera to be automatic or do you want to do it manually every time you want it? So if it's on automatic, that means anytime you go below 10 kilometers, this camera turns on. Pass it, shuts off. On, mm. off, on, off. Because it doesn't know the difference between parking and bad traffic, right? Yeah. So, what so if I'm in the like bad traffic, this it's will gonna keep... go on, off, on, off, on, off, on, okay. off. Okay. So maybe a uh, manual for now. Okay. 
So we'll turn that off. As long as that line is there, then we know the auto is off. This is your manual button. Okay. We're just going to pull out of the garage. We want that back end just past the yellow posts. So go ahead. Actually, do you want to try the self park while we're at it? Sure. Okay. Where so to... buckle up. Oh. Might as well, right? Because mm -hmm. there's an empty parking spot right there. <laughs> so let's utilize it. Do let's it. drive up to that parking spot over yonder. We want your door to be right beside that empty spot, okay? It The car will find it better when your door is right beside it, if that My makes sense. My door is right beside it? Or okay. the front half of the car. Yeah. It'll pull forward and then back Correct. Up. So keep going. So we want your door to be in front of the empty. So put on brake fully. Okay, now we're good. Keep it on the brake. Push that button. Yeah. Oh, wait. Yes. Okay. So this sorry. The left side shows you where the available parking spots are. Um, if it allows you to, you could choose parallel park or regular park. This is just showing you how it's starting. So it's going to move forward. This, if you look here, so this is the most important one, I think, because it shows you where it's going to park and how it's going to park visually. So if you want to forward park, we continue with this by pressing start. If you want to reverse park, you always choose this guy right here, and then it's going to change it to reverse. Mm -hmm. Now you can hit the start if you're happy. Like your, take a foot off your brake. It's going to do its thing. Now if you guys are parallel <gasps> parking, it will even oh take God. you out of the parking spot. Mm. Yeah. I always recommend if you guys use this, please use it when the car is fairly clean because it's got to utilize all the sensors. All the cameras. No, try not to use it in bad um, rainstorms or snowstorms just because that might, you know, the sensors. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to be hitting anything. And once it's done, it oh goes into park right away. Yay! That's go. awesome! <laughs> and it's like, how long? Not bad, eh? Mm-hmm. How'd you feel about that? This is a little nerve-wracking. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, oh I was my God. like, oh my is God. this under warranty? <laughs> so lane departure alert, above 50 kilometers, if you start weaving in and out, uh, no signals, your steering wheel will vibrate. Do you want this on or off? I can have that on. Okay. They're all on except for one, I'll explain that one. And two to parking assist is your parking sensors, so the beep beep beeps when you're parking. Parking support brake stops you from hitting something directly behind you when you're backing into a spot. So if you fail to notice a big garbage can or whatnot, it will do a hard stop. Blind spot monitor is that orange in the side mirror. When you see that, don't change lanes. There's a car in your blind spot. Yep. Safe exit is for street parking. If a car is coming up beside you, cyclists or whatnot, it won't let you open the door. Or it's just going to let you know that someone's coming up. Yep. Only when you're in reverse will the rear cross traffic alert activate because that's just to let you know there's traffic behind you. You got people detections, road sign, head up display will show you your stop signs and speed limits. Pre-collision is your hard abrupt brake. That's your last resort braking system. Your system is going to go beep, 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 tell you to brake. Do nothing. The car is going to do that hard abrupt brake to brace for impact or possibly prevent. Mm -hmm. So this guy is your last resort braking system, hard abrupt brake. This one is your slow gradual brake. So as an example, I'm a coaster. I may or may not go over the speed limit sometimes. And if I, <laughs> so I take my foot off the gas pedal to coast. But if there's a car in front of me and it notices it down yonder, your car will automatically slow down to gradually keep you at a safe distance. And if mm. you still continue to do nothing, the car may come to a complete stop, but it will probably activate your pre-collision. So just be aware. Okay. On or off. Um, um, what's the distance? Uh, depends on how fast you're going as well. So. Okay, but I will feel that. Oh, it just yeah, it you'll, breaks from yeah, me. yeah, you'll feel it. Do you okay. want to just test it out, see how you like it, yeah, and then I'm turn keep it, it off? Keep it on for now. Screen that's this side, the glass is for this side. The two center buttons will always open, the two very front ones will always close. So, if you want to open the screen, yep, push and hold for a full second and release. You can stop it midway or have it open all the way. To do the glass, you have a third button for the glass, so that's your toast. Otherwise, hit the center, that's going to open the screen or the moonroof. Yeah. And then to close it, 
Always the front two buttons on the right side front. Push and hold for a full second. Let go. Yeah. You want your screen open or closed? Oh, uh, we can close it for now. Yeah. A little sunny. <laughs> <laughs> All get this in the video. What? Wow. <laughs> it's nice. I think we're okay. Okay. Are you happy? I'll oh, be happy when I get home safely. And then you're gonna leave it in the garage and never drive it? Yeah, can I drive your car to work tomorrow? <laughs> and every day after that, for that matter? Mission accomplished. We are back home in one piece, safe and sound, without a scratch. It still feels surreal to have uh, this beauty on my driveway. I feel like I'm gonna feel this way for, uh, for the next little while. Unbelievable. The real dream come, come true. There's still a lot of things I wanna say about this. Um, I'm probably just gonna reserve that for a full review video, so stay tuned for that. Well, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed going on this journey with me of taking delivery of the NX Hybrid. Thank you for watching, and until next time. Shh.